Hey everybody, this is Monkey Puzzle, and I am flying. <laughs> Last time you saw me here on the Ark, I was taming some Pteranodons, or at least I got a level 1 Pteranodon. But right after that, after I paid all those consequences and had all these minor defeats, I found this one who was about level 26 at the time. And since that night, two nights ago, he is now level 41. So that's very cool. And I am starting this recording today for several reasons. One, I'm about to go on vacation for two weeks. So I there will be no ARC episodes in that time. I'm going camping in the woods, kind of like these, but real ones. And I will not have any internet. I will not have a computer <laughs> and I was not able to get very far ahead with my episodes at all. So I'm just going to have these two for you, the last one and this one. And right here, there is a Carnotaur, <laughs> Carnotaurus. And I thought, wow, just before I leave is the perfect time to get another pet. <laughs> So, as soon as I can deal with these bugs, stupid bugs, <laughs> free chitin. And where did my bird go? Where is it? No. No bad things happening at the beginning of episodes here. So, let me deal with uh, finding my bird again. Oh my god. And we will get to taming that Carnotaurus. Aha! It didn't go very far at all. I guess the bugs make them freak out. What are you doing up there? Come here. <laughs> we have... Woo! Okay. We have a Carnotaurus to tame. We have been accumulating more and more dinosaurs, but it's time to move up to the big scary ones. We need the big guys. And this is one of the next levels up. Not quite a T-Rex, but pretty good. So let's try this again. <laughs> he is now following me. So if bugs come, hopefully he won't go away. And oh, no, that is bad. That is bad, bad, bad. Oh, good. Glad I have you, except you got to get closer. I don't want to be down here with the Carnotaurus. No. Oh, no. Okay. This is bad. This is bad. I'm just going to keep shooting him. Don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> oh man. So let me hurry up and and respawn. And if I lose that guy, oh god. <laughs> that would just be my luck, wouldn't it? Oh man. Okay, so Okay, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, figure it out. I'm not even gonna worry about what I need right now. I'm just gonna bring these guys. They should be back up enough. And we're going to run out there. I probably should have whistled something. And I have a gate now. I got to talk to you about that. <laughs> Come on, y'all. We got stuff to do. Oh, man. I probably should have brought another bow to knock that guy out. But at this point, I'm just worried about saving my Pteranodon. I don't know what's going to happen with him and the Carnotaur. I don't think I saw a notice that something bad happened. But y'all, come on. Where are you? Let's go. He's just going to die at this point. If I have to kill him. If I'm really lucky, he passed out. I shot him up quite a bit. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Where is he? Where is my bird? 
if need be, I can get another bird. But that one was leveling up nicely, as you saw. And I see neither right now, which is kind of weird. I'm going to keep looking. Because there has to be one or the other, right? Oh, oh, what is this? Aha! Things are not all bad. He is unconscious. And he is just fine. <laughs> Yay! All right. So... That worked out okay, and it got to be even a little extra exciting. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so the great thing about having... Uh, whoops. Okay. Let me see. I think I've got a bunch of meat in Azjora, but the great thing about having a Pteranodon is I can get back and forth really quickly to get supplies and stuff like that. So I have a very good feeling... We have just added a Carnotaurus to the crew. Uh, we, it's going to have a ways to go. It may take a while. But this is pretty cool. Oh, he's a level 16. That's not too bad at all. And the taming's going up pretty quick. We do have times 3.5 on this server. And that's just because none of us can spend four or five hours to really tame things. So let me call everybody. And I'll take these guys back. Or actually, you know what? Y'all can stay here. That's fine. Come here. Hey, everybody. I'm just far enough away from Astheus' animals that I could do that. And you? <laughs> Let me get on you. Ugh. Okay, he's going to land for me. There we go. And so they're going to hang out and keep guard. And I'm going to go get dressed. <laughs> I did that in my underwear. Or at least, no, I didn't. I checked on it on my underwear. And I'm going to get armored up. I'm going to get some narcotics. I'm going to get some more meat. And we're going to tame ourselves a Carnotaurus. One more pet to leave for two weeks. But I started to say that Azteus graciously agreed to feed my pets while I'm gone so I'm grateful for that I'm gonna make sure I leave a full thing of meat like this although I'm sure that it will rot in the time that I'm gone but luckily hopefully as TS is gonna keep an eye on everybody and you can see out here I went and fenced this whole thing off I had not intended to do that I had intended to, or I could probably just put these right here, couldn't I? I had intended to just leave it open like I had in the past, but being gone as long as I'm going to be gone for two weeks off in the real life woods, all kinds of chaos could happen to these guys if it's open, and I just thought I would reduce the entropy and just go ahead and handle that. So... Now, he killed me. You know what I actually missed is I must have a care package somewhere, right? With all my stuff. What am I doing? I'm not even thinking straight. All right, let's go. I guess I was too worried about getting the narcotics for him. Let's go see if we can find my stuff as well. I get a full 15 minutes for that, so should be fine. Should not have run out of time yet. This has not been 15 minutes yet. So somewhere... Over here. There's my guys. And let's go ahead and he's doing all right. Just to be safe, we'll use that once or twice. And he didn't have my stuff in his inventory. He wouldn't have. Somewhere around here, it's got to be my package. So I'm going to focus on that for a minute. And then I will rejoin you when this guy's done. Or at least right about to be done. Let me get a vantage point up here. And you can see I've been having fun with Dai as well. <laughs> okay. I gotta find my satchel. It's gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> that sneaky Carno. He's laying on it. I see it right there underneath him. 
He's trying to hide it from me. <laughs> See if we can get it. There we go. I had half the time left. Nope, that's not it. See, I gotta be able to access it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep working on this, but it's right there. <laughs> Out the way. There it is. All my lovely stuff. Everything is all good. <laughs> See y'all when I'm just about done with another creature I need to name. <laughs> so I had to come take a dip because I was just getting way too hot. I was on the second level of flame there on the lower right. And this is a good chance to show you one of the many new creatures that is in the game. These are trilobites. This one's level 21. So it's going to... Oh, I thought it was going to be pretty hard to kill. Let me get some air. These things have so many resources. Check this out. Now, granted, we just did an experiment with having two times resources on here for the same reason as the taming, just because it, this game can be very, very grindy. But these things, regardless, are just totally full of stuff and stuff that I haven't collected before. Like they've got oil and silica pearls and just tons of chitin. I don't think I had any chitin on me before. And these things just... A lot of people I saw on Reddit are complaining actually about how many resources these things are dropping. But, and the devs may nerf that. So that just means that this is a good time to harvest. <laughs> so I'm cooling down, harvesting some trilobites, about to run back over there. Oh, and yeah, all of that, I got a level up. I got my health pretty good, even though I just died. I wish I knew a fortitude could really help me with being cold and being hot. If you guys think it could, let me know. Maybe this time I'll do some oxygen. I haven't done that yet. So now I'm 39, one more, and I can get some cool new stuff, some new engrams. One more dip, maybe one more trilobite, and I'll go check on the Carnotaurus. I'm getting so many resources at this point relative to before that this kind of thing is basically a done deal. <laughs> Except that it's super hot right now. I'm here in the shade. I wish the shade did something. And I'm just, yeah, just moaning about the heat. Look at that flame on the lower left. But this guy is coming along fully unconscious. Maybe a third done with the taming. And I guess I'll just keep running and <laughs> jumping in the water. Although it didn't seem to help a whole lot. And here I am in my underwear. <laughs> or no, these are my bathing trunks. That's right. And it's taking quite a while to tame it. I would hate to do it <laughs> when it wasn't multiplied like it is here. So I'm doing all kinds of things. Right now, let's check on what's in this green supply drop. What do we got? Uh, I'll take these. Can I just take those? Yeah, I don't need a blueprint for a mortar and pestle. Thank you very much. I'll leave that nice green shiny light up there. Well, me and the crew here, we've kept guard on them all night. Kept them nice and unconscious and full. <laughs> Had to make a fire at one point, and there he is! The Carno, the Carnotaurus. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, and the name. So he ate me <laughs> at one point. So I was gonna name him something that meant hungry, but actually he should be pretty full. It, besides all that meat I gave him, he, you know, he ate the hand that's eventually gonna feed him. So he's more than full, he's fuller. <laughs> that's his name. Where are you? Oh, hello. Hi, Fuller, the Carnotaurus. How did it feel to eat me? You still got me in your belly? <laughs> so, you part of the crew now? All right, so let's back up. Let's see what he looks like. So he's definitely not one of the biggest guys. He's got funny arms, 
but he is definitely the biggest, the meanest, baddest we've got so far. Scarier than a raptor. He's a Carnotaurus, and <laughs> he will never be hungry again. All right, Fuller, come with us. It's time to go home, everybody. So I'm gonna take these guys back to the base, and then I'm gonna say goodbye to you all. So I got two episodes that I haven't released yet. So by the time you see this one, I'll probably be most of the way through the, my first week of vacation. And I'll have been in a cabin for a week and then about to be going camping for the second week. So I'll be enjoying myself, getting ready to come back to make more videos. But in the meantime, I'm also gonna enjoy having taken a break that's starting to be a pretty thunderous crew following me. Fuller definitely adds a nice bass note to things. Wait till we have a T-Rex. But we're definitely working our way up. Pretty good systematic taming, leveling. Skipped a couple steps, but we're working our way up. We didn't, definitely didn't skip like straight from a Dillo to a T-Rex or anything like that. But we are ready. I feel like we took a good portion of our tribe with us inland, we'd be pretty invincible. I think my Dillo army at this point could take a T-Rex. They're pretty well leveled up at this point, all 13 of them. Been working on them quite a bit, but for all their ferociousness here, they get, still get stuck on sticks. <laughs> Come on, y'all. How scary can you be if you get stuck on a tree? Great way for me to tame you without getting eaten. I'll save you. Oh, did I hurt you? <laughs> Sorry. That's what happens when you get stuck on a tree. All right, come on, y'all. Let's go home. So yeah, I made this thing. This is, I kind of worked with the landscape a bit, so I know it's a funny shape. But this is just an attempt to keep chaos away from my dinosaurs. Keep them safe while I'm away. Or at least keep them where I put them. Because one Dillo could come in, attack somebody, and they'd all over here somewhere, or wherever that happened to happen. All right, y'all, let's go inside. Put you away for a couple weeks. Bam. One more mouth for Astius to feed while I'm gone. Can you make it in? Are you smart enough? Good job. All right. That's a good place. Wow. Well, he's definitely almost two stories tall. Especially if he had better posture. <laughs> okay, y'all. Well, this is Monkey Puzzle. I've got my spare armor on right now. This is not the f coolest looking dyed one. But it's good enough. Let me see. Let's get right here. And take a little picture. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I will see you when I get back. Bye-bye.